2023, day number one. Let's go. Happy New Year everyone, hope you had a great Christmas period, holiday period, some time off with family, friends and I hope 2023 has motivated you already to get out there, push your limits and do the best that you can no matter what you're doing. It's January the 1st and I had to get out didn't I? Of course I did and I'm on the Cotswold Way. Of course I am. A huge thank you to all of you for your support throughout the whole of last year and beyond. Not only with my running, but with all the challenges that I set myself and helping others to achieve theirs. I really love the community that I've been building and I hope it continues nice and strongly in 2023. I'd like to say a big thank you to Sean Campbell, who I met today, 1st of January, on my run. He stopped me, recognised me and said hello. Really appreciate it, really makes it feel special and uh, worthwhile. So thank you for asking about my running and best of luck to you, Sean, and all of your challenges of 2023. Keep going and let's get it done. I'm not going to really review 2022. If you've been following my channel, I'm sure you would have seen the majority of the videos or at least the ones you're interested in. However, if you would like me to break down any part of 2022, let me know. And of course I will do it if there's the demand. Now, when it comes to 2023, of course, I have my goals. I have my races and they're prioritized. And I, of course, will let you know what they are in due course. But right now, just got to enjoy winter running haven't we so let's get out there and get on with it but I do have two questions number one what is your key takeaway from 2022 and number two what is your main goal for 2023 let me know in the comments so of course I had to start my first run of 2023 on the Cotswold Way, and I love it. Plus, it's one of my goals for this year, the Cotswold Way 100 again. And this section today is from Nibley Monument, just south of Dursley, to Hawkesbury. A return trip, out and back, around 20 miles. Okay, this is a turnaround point, Hawkesbury Upton. Time to head back before it gets dark. So one of my achievements last year was uh, 
to reach the goal of a thousand subscribers which I did just before Christmas and I was surprised but also overwhelmed so thank you to everyone that is part of the journey part of the community it really means a lot hopefully we can grow this year as well and part of that I wanted to know what sort of challenge I could do to celebrate a thousand subscribers and on my Facebook page Cotswold Trail Runner had a little poll and the dragon's back came out on top so I'll pencil that in for either next year 2024 or 25 because I want to be ready but this year I do want to take on Everesting Challenge so as that develops I'll let you know more Yeah, weather's closed in now, chucking it down. I do have a waterproof in my bag. But sometimes it's quite nice to be out in the rain. Last mile to go. Let's get this done. I'll have a chat with you in the car. There we go, New Year's Day run done. Just shy of 20 miles in the end and just over two and a half thousand feet of elevation. Nice to get out in that weather despite the downpour of hail at the end. I hope you managed to get out in this first week of January. Let me know how you get on. My focus now switches to uh, my first race of the year at the end of January and I'll let you know more details about that in the coming weeks. Hope you enjoyed, hope you had a good holiday. I'll see you in the next one.